Hey guys, so it's here bringing you a, another video. Welcome to a new loot video. So we've actually gone and done the big, well, not the biggest bundle because the biggest bundle is ridiculous of price and everything. Um, but we bought this one. So we've got 25 um, orbs, one grab bag and tokens. This one is absolute bonkers. Like that, I think that's costing like a roughly a hundred pounds. The one that I bought with the right points that you have to buy to get it is 50 pounds. So 65 roughly dollars which is expensive you know so if you appreciate that we're doing this to show if it's worth value or not please do throw a like on the video and why not let's do a giveaway during this one as well if you want to enter the giveaway and we're going to give away one of these so the 2500 riot point bundle all you've got to do is be a subscriber like the video and comment down below what is your favorite thing that we unbox in this video like if it's one of the ink shadow skins or something like that and make sure in your comment to leave your summoner name and server because obviously that's how i'm going to add you to gift you but anyway let's get into it so we do have a bit of remaining right points left over but we're not going to use that for now and before anything just to give a shout out to shadow cat zevo uh because obviously loot videos are pretty expensive and we're streaming right now and he actually at the beginning of the stream gifted 20 gifted subs and also 3,000 bits uh, to help contribute towards the loot video because yeah loot videos are oof, they're they're pricey and also galopa i just saw did 100 biddies thing much galopa toaster trolley 57 months with prime thing much toaster hopefully we'll have fun potentially in clash this weekend uh before anything let's open the uh, grab bag which is contains two skin shards worth 975 rp or higher and one skin shard worth 1350 or lower and there is a bonus chance to get Mythic Essence and two random skin shards. So just again, to sh show you guys the little trick, because of European law, and I'm pretty sure this is everywhere now, like they can't avoid doing this. If you go into this area and then click view drop rates, so you always get those two things. It's a 5% chance with this grab bag to get the extra two skin shards. It's a 4.11% chance to get Mythic Essence. And this is, as always, a 0.05% chance to get a Mythic skin permanent. So for those two extra skin shards, it's a 5% chance. So obviously quite a low chance. Also with the orbs, that's what you can get off the orbs. So obviously the, the standard percentages, but to get the grab bag from an orb, it's a 3.5% chance. So again very low chances to get these kind of bonus things and obviously they do that on purpose but they have to show it legally now what the percentage is because it's all to do with like gambling laws i think especially in like belgium and the netherlands i think those are the two countries that kind of made it a thing um but anyway let's open it and of course we don't get the two bonus we get the three firecracker sejuani star guardian talia and blood moon thresh so there we go and then the 25 orbs let's go for it so if we're going to get any bonus loot we're going to click open 10 obviously if we get any bonus loot there'll be more than 10 pieces of loot for example boom there's no bonus loot because it's one in 10 if we had bonus loot it'd be one in 11 or one in 12 so as we can tell straight away no bonus loot which obviously is not great for value but it is what it is so ruined karma valkyrie leona dwg twisted fate Cosmic Dawn Rakan, Beekeeper Singed, Project Echo, two. Oh, okay, we did get a bonus loot, but oh wait, no, we have got a bonus loot because technically we have eleven pieces of loot, but two of them were the exact same skin shard. So we don't, we actually do have a bonus loot. That's quite funny. So two Cosmic Allowee and um, Cosmic Invoker Allowee skin shards, an Arctic Warfare Caitlin. Jurassic Cho'Gath, and now the next thing should actually be the bonus loot, which is 10 Mythic Essence. So there we go. That's actually quite funny. Let's open another 10. And there we go. We actually do get a grab bag. So as we saw earlier, that's a 3.5% chance to hit. So that's not bad in odds. Beast Hunter Sejuani, Demacia Vice Lucian, Strike Paladin Lucian, Demon Slayer Twitch, Infernal Amumu, Bird of Prey Anivia, Space Groove Orn, Dragon Slayer Jarvan 4, Winter Wonder Oriana, and Spirit Blossom Lilia. Very cool. So we obviously get a grab bag, but we'll open the five remaining orbs. So again, bam. Ooh! Okay, that's actually not bad. We get another... 3.5% chance grab bag in five orbs. That's actually kind of nuts. So we get another grab bag. Whoa! Oh, we just hit a 0.05% chance. Okay, we've, uh, we're have we a bit lucky in this video. 
we've hit two grab bags of three percent chance each and then a ultimate skin which is a 0.05 percent chance obviously just reminding everybody i already own this skin so what happens normally if you unbox this ezra skin and you didn't own it you'd unlock it straight away you'd unlock it straight away you don't have to use any orange essence or anything for that but because i already own it it's just going to become a skin permanent later on the line you, people say mythic skins are 0.05 i'm pretty sure ultimate skins have the same percentage as a mythic skin i'm like 95 percent sure they're the same rarity in terms of percentage someone can fact check that if they want to but i'm pretty sure it's the same and just reminding everybody because already twitch chat's like riot i'm giving you hacks they're not like i i can promise you from the bottom of my heart just because this account's the Huzzy account, just because I'm a league partner, it has no weight on loot at all. It, it really doesn't. I know people are going to have their tin four hats on and everything. It really, really doesn't have any weight at all. But anyway, Dark Waters Diana, Lil Slugger Trundle, Secret Agents in Zhao, and Lancer Rogue Blitzcrank. There we go. Then we got our two grab bags. So again, because we're going to... Let's open one at a time to save confusion. Because one at a time, the standard will be three skin shards. The bonus is five. So we open one, we get the standard. So we didn't get the crazy up to two, two extra skin shards. Ruined Misfortune, Battle Wolf Silas, and KDA Akali. And then the final one is, again, not the bonus five. Recon Teemo, Warring Kingdoms Katarina, and Legendary Infernal Nasus. Not bad. So what we're now going to do with all of these, obviously, skin shards... It's my favorite part of the video, actually. And you can see I already had uh, Spirit of Guard Udir as well. We're now going to re-roll. And the way that the re-roll system works, if you're new here, I always explain this, is my account owns most skins in the game. Even though I'm a league partner, and I do technically have the league partner buff, all that stuff that I unlock skins, I like to own the skins myself. So I actually do these loot videos to a lot of the time get the skins. So, for example... The way it works is you take three skin shards, you then grind them up into something, and what it gives you is a hex chest. No, that's just random, but it gives you a skin a, that you do not own. Now, just to make it clear, it gives you a skin that you do not a skin permanent that you do not own, but not necessarily if you're new to the game, for example. You, you might not own the champion. Obviously, I own all the champions, so it's always going to be something I can use. And because I own everything else, it's only going to be the more modern skins. But I've actually been a little bit behind in, in collecting skins, to be honest. So we're going to potentially not just get the ink ones. We might get an assortment. And we get... Uh, there you go. Shiba Yumi. I didn't unlock the, the latest April Fool skins, so we've got them as well mixed in here. So I, I don't actually think... And there's our first ink shadow... I don't know if I've got enough skin shards to unlock everything in the game right now, like that I don't own, but yeah. Ink Shadow Volley Bear looks very cool. Again, the Ink Shadow skins, I will say, yeah, they, they do look very nice. They, they, they really do. I don't know if they look as nice in game. I think their splash arts weirdly look better, but yeah. Kibblehead Cled. I don't know about anyone else. I hate them skins. <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> Next up. Ink Shadow Kaiser, cool, cool. I will say a lot of the Ink Shadow skins, minus a couple of them, are very, and it's, you know, obvious, very popular champions. Jarvan has been one of the predominant junglers for ages. Yasuo's got it. Master Yi's in popularity zone at the moment. Kaiser's always been popular. Like, a lot of them, you know, Relian Soldier's got his rework. I think they have very carefully selected the champions that are getting the Ink Shadow skins. And you can't blame them. Oh, wait, that's Nightbringer. But yeah, still. Wait, Nightbringer? Apparently I missed a Nightbringer event. I don't even know. But yeah, so... Um, you can't blame them considering Nightbringer Nasus. This game is free to play and they make their money off cosmetics. So selling skins for the more popular champions is a very smart way of going about it. Ink Shadow Udyr, new Udyr skin, which is cool. First Udyr skin from his rework. Fairy Queen Karma, legendary. So again, um, as I said, I'm a little bit behind on skins. So I don't think we're actually going to unlock everything. 
The one that I really do want, and I will say it's going to be annoying if I don't get it. There's Ink Shadow Yasuo. I really do want the Yerelian Soul. Obviously, yes, I'll have availability with it with the League Partner Program, but I kind of want to own that one myself, you know? So I am hoping we get the Aurelian Soul. Very cool. Milio. Yeah, apparently I didn't even own the Milio skin. And here we go. Two more. Da -da -da -da. Wolf and Lamb Kindred. Oh, God. All right. And the, here's the crazy thing. Actually, before we grind up an ultimate skin, let's open two more chests. And there we go. We get some nice skin shards there. I do technically have more riot points if I really wanted to, but we'll see. And we'll, we'll get the updated numbers in a second. Oh, okay, I'm just going to say that that skin is a crime against humanity. I'm just going to say that right now. That shouldn't exist. But anyway, um, so let's just go over the updated numbers. Skins, we now own a total of 1,493. We're actually nearly at 1,500 total skins, which is insane. But let's see how many I'm away from owning in total. So there we go. That is what I'm missing. So I am missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skins. So seven times three, I would need 21 skin shards more to unlock all of the skins currently available in the game. We're not going to probably do that in this video because that would be quite a lot more money. Um, it's annoying that I don't have the Aurelian. I, yeah, I, I do actually have the right points to buy the Aurelian soul, which I don't really want to do. But what I'm going to do because, you know, oh wait, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go into loot. I do have right points. So we will just buy, I think this is the thing. Yeah, we're just going to buy as many orbs as I can. I think like four to five orbs, I think we're going to have maybe five. So we're going to have at least two more rerolls. Now, if I actually am hacking out of these five orbs, if I open five and we get another grab bag. I, well, I don't really know what to say. I've actually set my, uh, myself up for failure here. If we don't get it, well, then fine. But if we do get it, what do I say? So here we go. Okay, we don't. See, I'm not hacking. See, there you go. Project Warwick, Cosmic Reaver, Cassidin, Bloodstone, Tarek, Fnatic, Gragas, and Steel Lux. Steel Legion Lux. And someone just said, did they, did they remove prestige from rerolls? No and yes. So before they did a bit of a change, you could reroll for the brand new Mythic skins, the brand new prestige skins straight away. They got rid of that ability because, I don't know, they don't like fun, apparently. Um, but you can still re-roll for them, but it's only when, like, they're three months old. So, for example, when if if a brand new Ashen Guardian skin comes out, you're, you cannot re-roll for that until it leaves the shop. But what is the benefit of getting the Prestige skin through the point system or the Ashen Guardians through the Mythic Essence system, is you get the border and the icon. If you re-roll for them three months down the line, you do not get the border, you do not get the icon. So that's the only real big difference, but yeah. So let's now do some more re-rolls. Come on, Aurelian Soul. Come on down. Boom. Damn it, Jonate. <laughs> that's not the one I want. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, uh, Next one. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't want the Master Yi. <laughs> the one... Wait, did I seriously get every single Ink Shadow skin apart from the one I actually wanted? I did. I got every single Ink Shadow apart from the one I wanted. Are you serious right now? Do I have anything else? Because obviously when you buy these bundles... Okay, I don't have any of that stuff because we need to play the game. I do have 480 of these. I don't really want to spend any of it because I actually would probably, if I'm not on, like... Oh, and then there's also the Yasuo one that will be able to get that in three months' time on a reroll. Wait, did my camera go fuzzy? Oh, God, why is my camera fuzzy? I'm going to do that. And then that. Hello? Hey, there we go. Um, so, yeah. Um, what I probably am wanting to do, I will say eventually with these points, is when I do get the Aurelian Soul one... I most likely will buy the border for it because Aurelian is like borderline on my champion pool. Out of all the champions that we've got Ink Shadow skins for, Aurelian is the one that's kind of like borderline champion pool. And I think that the borders are just nice. I do like the borders. Um, so yeah, I don't want to spend the orbs for that. And just to make it clear, because I always get these questions, if I buy the border or I buy the chroma, does that mean I get the skin? No, you don't. Um, 
you don't get the skin you need to own the skin um so yeah i don't know again oh no so the on the initial release yasuo is the prestige the next prestige is master yi is it is master yi getting the prestige skin yeah ink chroma ink shadow master yi prestige i think so master yi's getting the other prestige skin mm. anyway that's gonna be it if you guys enjoyed this loot video is it where people are saying no or are you replying to people in chat i've got no idea but anyway hope you guys enjoyed so again that brings our total skin number to 1495 five skins off 1500 and if i'm not mistaken right now actually there's five skins in the store so if i did buy all of these i would have 1500 total but i'm not gonna buy them we'll unlock them in the next loot video but yeah anyway that's gonna be it if you guys did enjoy do throw a like on it throw a comment throw a subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace restore our glory to live forever bring down the dark regime i know how to unleash eternal power